Hi guys! Thank you all so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Love Anastasia, if you are new, and welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today's video is a kitchen clean and reorganize. I'll clean my kitchen, and while cleaning it, I will try to pay attention to the areas that I occasionally neglect, as well as reorganize two cabinets that have been driving me crazy for some time. I'm very excited for today's video because it is also sponsored by Swiss.com. Swiss.com was kind enough to send me this beautiful set of porcelain stackable espresso cups that come with matching saucers and a metal stand. The package was boxed very well, almost too well as you can see because I struggled a little bit to get everything out, but it was packaged very well, very carefully, everything arrived in perfect condition. The set also comes in a white color, however I fell in love with the multicolored blues because they're just so cheerful, I love seeing them on my coffee bar, and you can't be grouchy in the mornings while you're having your espresso out of a cheerful blue cup. The quality of these cups are absolutely stunning. They are marked as dishwasher and microwave safe, however, they do feel very delicate, so Michael and I made the decision that we will only hand wash them, which isn't a problem because overall we do prefer to hand wash most of our drinkware, even if it is listed as dishwasher safe. If you would like these espresso cups, I have both the white and multicolored set listed below. They are $28.99 on Amazon, and I also have a matching set of coffee mugs listed below in case you are not an espresso person but would like something similar to this for your coffee bar. Thank you again so much to Swiss.com for sending me this set. I'm really excited to clean up my kitchen so that I can put my new espresso cups in a clean and fresh kitchen. I begin by hand washing a few dishes that were in the way. Michael had unloaded and loaded the dishwasher that morning, so there wasn't too much out on the countertops. The two countertops that I reorganized today have been bothering Michael and I for a long time. We had our wine glasses and champagne flutes separated from the rest of our glasses and then had some random dishes and serving bowls in this cabinet with most of our drinkware. So today I decided to pull everything out of the two cabinets and organize them to make more sense and to also look far less cluttered. A few items were placed in storage because they had sentimental value, but we just didn't have room to keep them in these cabinets, and then I had a few items that I set aside and I will donate. My channel will also soon have an extreme declutter series uh, coming out hopefully within the next two months, so be sure to be subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss out on that.
At first, while reorganizing, I became discouraged because I was not able to move the wine glasses and champagne flutes into the other cabinet like I wanted, so I did stop recording around this time and just focused on really trying to figure out how to make this arrangement work, and I did eventually manage to make room and have everything organized exactly how I wanted. I'm so happy with how this reorganization came out and I'm really glad that I took the time to really think this through and organize it in the best possible way that I could with the limited amount of space that we have. Now these cabinets just make far more sense and it looks so much better than it did before and I feel like I'm getting a much better use out of this space that I have. Once I reorganized, I move on to cleaning. First, I clean our bar because I have neglected it for months and months and months. I clean our bar tray with the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Spray and a microfiber cloth and then I am going to wipe all of the bottles with a damp microfiber cloth to remove all the sticky dust that has accumulated on the bar. I could not believe the transformation this bar had. Once everything was cleaned, as you can see, everything was just sparkling in the sunlight. Then I move on to my sink because no kitchen cleaning video is complete without a sink clean. I spray the sink with the Dawn Power Wash Spray and then clean it with a scrub daddy. Then I clean my cabinets. Anyone with white cabinets in their kitchen knows the struggle of trying to keep them clean. I am quickly spot cleaning with the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Spray. Then I clean under the sink. I really should do this more often, but I just really don't like cleaning here, so I normally just clean it whenever it gets this bad. I pull everything out so I can vacuum up the mess, then I clean the Lazy Susan where I store my kitchen cleaning products with a Clorox wipe. This isn't meant to be a deep clean, I just wanted to make sure that I gave this section a quick clean because it has been neglected for some time now. Now I move on to cleaning the dishwasher with the Wyman Stainless Steel Spray and a microfiber cloth. 
and I also clean the keypad with the Mr. Clean Spray. Just as no kitchen clean is complete without a sink clean, neither is it complete without a stovetop clean. I spray the stovetop with the Dawn spray and clean it with a scrub daddy. I spot clean the cabinets around the stovetop and then I move on to cleaning the outside of the oven with the Wyman stainless steel spray. I clean the top section of the oven fairly regularly, but I do sometimes ignore cleaning this little drawer, so I made sure to take care of it on this day, and I really don't know why I skip cleaning this section because it makes such a huge difference when it actually is clean. Another area that I've recently started ignoring whenever I clean the kitchen is cleaning the outside of our fridge. And again, I'm not really sure why I started doing that. I think by the time that I get to cleaning the stainless steel appliances in my kitchen, I'm usually pretty tired, so I sometimes just ignore cleaning the fridge, but it makes such a huge difference when it's actually clean and sparkling this whole week. Whenever I open the fridge, I just get really happy looking at it because it's just so clean and fresh and just sparkles. So this is really something that I do need to stop myself from skipping all the time. Now I move on to cleaning our coffee bar and I'm also going to slightly reorganize things here. First I brush off all the coffee ground dust, then I clean the coffee bar top with the Mr. Clean spray as well as wiping down our coffee grinder and coffee maker. I also wipe the cabinets that we have down here because they are somehow also covered in coffee splatter. And after doing some reorganizing, this is how my coffee bar looks now, featuring the Suisse.com espresso set that I have. I love how our coffee bar turned out. I love seeing it every morning as I'm making my coffee. Then I move on to cleaning our coffee maker. Its clean light indicator came on, so first I clean it with a solution of white vinegar and water. This process normally takes between one to two hours, so while that was running, I left the house to run a few errands and I also picked up some coffee and espresso beans from our favorite local coffee shop. While the coffee maker's flush sequence is running, I clean the glass door with the spray away glass cleaner and then I also clean the outside section of the door, which I don't always do when I clean the kitchen, uh, but it, again, it's just one of those things. It makes such a big difference whenever I actually do it. I clean the outside with the spray away and I find it best to just use a squeegee. Now that all of that cleaning is done, I sweep up the floors and then after I sweep the floor, I spray them with the Bona Hard Surface Cleaner and then I steam mop them.
I run the vinegar cleaning cycles, I also run a cycle with the barkeeper's friend coffee cleaner. I try to run it every other time that I clean with the vinegar. The white vinegar cycle prevents any bacteria or mold buildup as well as decalcifying it, while the barkeeper's friend product cleans out any protein buildup inside the coffee maker. If you're still here, that means that you enjoyed this video, so be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you'd like even more cleaning and coffee content, be sure to follow me on Instagram at cleanwithloveanastasia, and if you need even more cleaning motivation, be sure to check out these two videos next. Thank you so much to Suisse.com for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see all of you next week.